Let's get joined by the victorious Gary Tonnen, who just won his uh, fourth bout in one championship at One A New Era. Gary, we were just joking beforehand that you've spent longer interviewing tonight than you have done fighting. You must be absolutely delighted with that performance tonight. Yeah, man, uh, I'm super excited to have gotten an opportunity this fight to really showcase, uh, I would say, a, a little snapshot of what I'm really capable of in this cage, uh, that, that people should start fearing me. Um, I'm not going to come out there and tell you that I'm the greatest grappler in MMA. I'm not going to come out there and tell you that I'm the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. I know that I'm not yet, but I know that I will be soon. Um, and I know that I'm only taking steps further and further and closer and closer to that goal. And tonight was a beautiful example of that, of what grappling uh, mixed with striking is capable of doing, uh, you know, at, at a, at when somebody has a high level of it uh, in the cage. Did you get hit the throat? I think <laughs> the only times I got hit during the fight, I believe, were um, a couple elbows and punches while I was on top of the opponent. And uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, it's, it's kind of funny like you look at that I think from the outside perspective before I did MMA you look at people doing that punching up at somebody and you're like oh man that doesn't do anything I mean it still hurts like getting elbow in the face and punch uh, you know it's not nearly as bad as, as raining down punches or getting hit in the standing position uh, but no I didn't really it wasn't like damaging you know a couple little you know jolts to the head and then obviously to me that that just makes me more frustrated and want to hit the, <laughs> the opponent on bottom more so uh, I was I was okay with getting hit only a couple times but for the most part, just like you said, like for the, it was a dominant performance. I, I controlled the fight. I did the damage. Didn't really take the damage. Uh, and I think it was relatively a lot of movement and excitement. I don't really see. There's not too much more a fighter could ask for. Maybe that one touch knockout might be a little bit more exciting, or that flying submission or something. Um, some of those things that's you know it's more like seeing a shooting star or something. That's something that, that doesn't happen that often. That might be more of a favorable result. But I think this is the best you could train for, the best I could offer. It was reminiscent, I guess, of uh, Ben Askren in a lot of ways, just taking people down, and sure. kind of destroying their will. Um, you, you know, when you kind of look at that performance, what did you think was the most impressive? Because a lot of people are saying the way that you went about your business in a very cool, calculated way, for someone that doesn't have as much cage experience, it was incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Uh, once I get once I get in my comfort zone, when I'm on the ground, when I'm controlling somebody, it's very easy for me to stay calm. You know, it, when I'm on the feet and I'm standing in front of you and I'm looking at you and I'm, I'm fainting and I'm, that's when there's a little bit of doubt up here, you know, that's when I'm a little nervous. I'm like, all right, well, anything can happen up in this zone. That kick to the face could come when I, I think he's going to throw a punch. That unexpected is so much more so in the standing position, uh, especially, of course, for me because it's not my strong suit. Um, so I think a lot of the cool calculated nature of what you guys are seeing is because today uh, I just stayed in that dominant position that, the entire time. Uh, I stayed where I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, even though there's strikes involved now and it's not just grappling, uh, that's what I'm comfortable doing, man. That's my world. Uh, I breathe that water. It's like the difference between, you know, somebody who knows how to swim and somebody who does not. And uh, the guy that knows how to swim, he goes into the, not just knows how to swim, but he's an expert swimmer. Goes into the ocean, he's fine, you know, and you, you throw somebody in there that's almost never in there and barely knows how to swim, they're freaking out, right? Um, that's like me in the standing position. But as I'm getting better and better, that's getting a little bit more easy. Uh, but the ground is always just, just relaxation for me. And I just think about, all right, how am I going to pick this guy apart? How am I going to do damage? How am I going to expose a submission? Today, I really wanted the TKO. Yeah. I think about after about 30 seconds of control and strikes, I was like, you know what? I There was a point, I think people saw it, where I probably could have taken his back because yep. he turned. And I chose not to take the back, and I said, no, 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 going, for, out. going for the TKO. Guard at one point as well, Sorry? Right? Stepped out of his guard at one point to rain down strikes instead of taking his back. Yes, correct, correct, yeah. So t today I, I made a mental decision at some point, and I said, TKO. I didn't do that before the fight, yeah. um, but during the fight I said I said that to myself while I was, uh, while I was grappling him, yeah. After the fight, um, you sent out a bit of a warning to the rest of the division. Was there anyone you kind of aimed that at, or was that just a general? No, it, it's I'm not I'm not warning anybody specifically. I'm just saying that if there's anybody out there that wants to make sure that they beat me and they have they want that win on their record, they better do it fast. They better ask for that fight because this is only going to get worse. Like I'm just going to get better and better. You know, you look at some of these guys that have been fighting. They have the advantage on me because they've been fighting for years yeah. and they have multiple bouts. Like Anthony Anglin, uh, I think it was like eight and five 
five before this. Um, that's a that's a, a lengthy record. He's been fighting for a while. Um, they have the advantage. They, while they have the advantage, they should be coming after me. They should be seeking me out uh, because the more fights I get underneath my belt, I'm only going to grow and get better and better and better. I think the learning curve starts to kind of reach and level off as these guys reach a certain level of experience. Yeah. So yeah, they have the advantage, but they're not getting as much better each and every fight. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I said, you know, the, the monster is growing, man. Uh, and it's only going to be a matter of time before I think I'm going to be unstoppable. And I will, t I will come out and tell you I'm the best grappler in MMA. I'm the best mixed martial artist of all time. I'll let you guys know when I think that happens, okay? <laughs> but for right now, it's growing, man. Uh, what does the rest of the year look like? And also, what's our, your kind of current uh, contract status with one championship? Are you going to be staying with these guys for a long time? I can't discuss at specifics of contract, but like I've said this in a couple other interviews before. I'm with these guys for the long haul. I think one championship is bringing about a revolution in mixed martial arts at the moment. Um, and more important than just that, uh, to me, is just looking at their growth uh, from when I started till now, and even if I look from before I started until now, it's just been a constant incline. They've been getting better and better, bigger and bigger, attracting bigger names, attracting bigger audiences, competing in bigger venues. Um, I really only see good things coming out of one championship. I don't have any reason to be anywhere else right now. I want to be the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. Right now, it feels like to become that, one championship is where I should be. Well, great stuff, Gary. Congratulations getting on your victory tonight, and uh, it couldn't have gone any better, could it? So, no. well, congratulations. Thank for you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.